welcome back to Skyrim. Um, I'm actually about to get uh, attacked here. The uh, DLC has just started to kick in. The um, vampire one. So yeah, let's kick some ass. I think that's them. I did get killed here quite a few, quite a few times. Right. Oh fuck! Yeah, it is the vampire. There you are. Where are your dogs? This time they would. Oh, that arrow went right through. Jesus Christ! Ouch! That must hurt, man. Let's loot these guys. I think you can do something with vampire dust. I'm not too sure. That guy, yeah, the brown cloak does look quite ugly. So, um, yeah, well, let's just carry on with an arrow in my back up the 10,000 steps. We also need to deliver Clemix stuff. Um, I actually want to start going using fast healing a lot more, get my restoration up. So, yep, yeah. let's keep going. Some of the NPC conversations are interesting, I just cannot be bothered. I'm actually um bold now. If I take my my hat off. I've, I'm bold. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got a slight hair, I guess. But it's just uh, I took the hair off because I it was clipping through all the helmets and I can't be bothered. To um have hair clipping out of it because it it annoys me. So, uh, let's, uh, quick, I think, for, yeah, you get a buff by reading these. From the, uh, last episode, actually, I was talking about this anime, uh, called Strike the Blood, and about how this guy, all these girls fall in love with him, and it's actually gone a lot worse. Now there's about six girls that have fallen in love with him. It's just, it's so stupid. Oh, Lydia, careful. Like, f it, 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 it annoys me. It's really cringy at now. They could have just made it an adult show. It's so, like, kiddie. But it annoys me to, to how, like, I was talking to my one of my friends about it. How overly um, exaggerated and how, how, like, sexualized the women are in this anime. It's just, it, it, it gets to a point where it, it might as well, you know, be be more toned down and more serious. It'd be a lot, the, the story would flesh out a lot more if, you, if it was, if it was like a vampire who seduces people. That would have been a lot cooler if the guy actually seduced girls properly, but he doesn't. The girls just fall for him after two seconds of meeting him. Which is so crazy, like, it's so stupid, it annoys me. As you haven't noticed by the amount of times I've said annoyed. But, I'm actually, like, I'm quick saving so much right now for some reason. But, every time, is a lot of this, these animes, whenever there's a long-haired character who's very, very quiet, out. He's very quiet and very secretive and doesn't talk much. Tries to be humble, but is very bad at it. Whenever there's that character, all the girls fall for him. All the time, well most of the time, you'll see. Happens in a lot of anime. I don't know, like, I wonder if it's just actual just men who makes these animes. Who just sit there and like, oh, let's make it this type of perverted. To be honest, I think it's just... Japanese culture and they it's it's been going on oh crap they have this kind of culture s so long now that um I'm dead <laughs> yeah they have this culture for so long it's kind of normal f for them to see on their TV screens this kind of stuff I guess I'm hoping yeah I'm, I'm past the wolves and yeah, I'm gonna stick with fast healing actually because 
I'll keep getting my restoration up. So yeah, there's always that one anime dude that is annoying as fuck. For me anyway, break it breaks the story so much for me. Oh yeah, bitch. Finisher! Let me just heal quickly. I'm moving quite slow. There we go. Quick save that. I think, yeah, I think we've got all the tablets. But like with these animes, there's this scene on the strike the bird I was watching. Oh god. There we go. Burp ha burps out. You know, this scene. All the time you see this in these animes, the, the camera will get really close up to the character and he'll be looking away from the character, trying to be cool and it will zoom in and he'll, he'll go in really deep and, and this is what they'll usually say, like I'm exaggerating this obviously but this is what usually happens so he'll close in and they'll be like My hair, it's so beautiful, but I didn't ask for this hair My ass, it's so perfectly round, but I just want to shit like any other person and then the girl in the background who's just listening to him be like, Oh, God, you're good. My pussy about to explode. Every fucking time, like, it pisses me off. But yeah, enough about anime. Um, I've actually started um, doing these new types of videos where... Well, I've done one so far where I'm talking about uh, a life story, I guess. Yeah, yeah, a life story for me. And I plan on making more of those if I can think of more stories like for me a lot of crazy shits happened to me I just can't remember half of them like I've had such dysfunctional experiences that it's just become such a daily part of my life to be honest but uh, I'm also trying to get some uh, podcasts done I guess you could call it podcast with a uh, gameplay in the background I was trying to get um, Ludisai Simon who uh, also hel helps me with these videos, he uh, probably noticed some of them, or most of them, um, probably noticed by the other videos. But yeah, um, so, like the uh, voice is not going to be as good as it is now because I'll be recording on TeamSpeak unless we I record from home, which I which would be a lot better for me. But since he's actually in uni, it's kind of a trouble for him because he has to um oh fuck off yeah eat that bleed damage you cunt all right let's put that away so yeah like i've um because i do all the editing and i plan where the direction of the channel goes i've asked him to write down or try to think of or write down some stuff that's happened to us because We've known each other for too like a long time, and whenever I'm speaking to him, it's just we we just talk about such funny random shit. So that's why I want him to be in one of the podcasts because I I'm able to talk a lot more without planning on what to say in my head afterwards or noting down what I'm gonna talk about in the video like. It's a lot easier for me when I'm speaking to other people because I guess I'm that social type of person. Like when I'm on my own doing a video like Skyrim, I'll have to jot down a uh, little bits of stuff like just to recap what I'm gonna say in the video. Otherwise, I'll be talk. I'll talk. Be talking about the law of Skyrim forever and ever. Or what I can actually remember from the law. I used to watch. I love watching law videos like. Like it started with um, well, Dark Souls lore that I love. Two two of the YouTubers I can't remember their names. Who make most of the lore stuff, which who are really good. And there's um, another guy who makes uh, Skyrim lore videos. I used to watch a long time ago. Who's really good. Like you you can imagine how big this game is Bethesda just goes all out on these types of games like there's so there's books there's everything man on the on these games like you can be that you can be such a nerd when you're playing an Elder Scrolls game or any like Fallout has its lore as well but n nothing compared to Elder Scrolls 
Oh god. I mean, Fallout has changed so much now. Since it first died, like it was just top down, you know, RPG style click, I guess. But now it's FPS RPG, and I remember playing Fallout 2 back in the day. So let's let's quickly drop off Klimix supplies. I did have um, the lantern mod on, but it's not working. I think it's conflicting with the pouch, the uh, bandoliers mod. Sorry, uh, because yeah, it probably is. So I'll probably take the lantern thing out. So um, I'll pro I'll see you guys in the uh, next episode. Um, I'll talk more about random shit again. So I'll see you then.